What is up everybody, Tanner with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And today, this video is going to be a store update. I know all of you guys wanna see the store constantly. You wanna see it in every single video. But honestly, the stuff, the variables don't really change so much, like a stock market where I can show you, you know, something different every single day. That's why I only do these updates like once a week, just so you guys can get a basic overview. But if you don't know what I'm talking about in this video already, basically, I did a challenge about a month ago now where I showed a store taking it from nothing to $100,000 in sales. You know, that was the end goal. But some issues occurred, you know, some different variables that I explained in past videos I'm not gonna talk about now. So I had to make a new store and not reveal the name and everything like that. So the store has been running now for a while. You know, this is the first full month it's been running. And I'll be going on my computer and showing you guys um, all of the results so far. And just a quick interruption, guys. October 1st, I'm dropping the new program content with Hayden Bowles. I'm gonna give him a quick rundown on a few things we talked about. Well, I wish I could show you what's on the whiteboard right there. First of all, it's still written. We got to keep it low key, but you guys are going to be getting a pretty good amount of videos going through a lot of different stuff, both on undiscovered product research strategies and a lot, a lot of content on Facebook ads. So if you've ever really wanted to be able to identify the right product, scale that into Facebook, not only to be able to obviously hit high numbers, but do that consistently as well. That's what I focus on because that's my specialty. So I broke all of that down in the computer for you guys. October 1st. See you there. Check it out. But basically what's going on right now is I've been focusing a lot on the store and not really as much of scaling it, um, but product testing. You know, I've been super busy lately, so I haven't been able to put a bunch of time into it. But it's, you know, continuously getting, you know, one to two K a day in sales with a three row ads. But Facebook ads manager has really been annoying to me because it hasn't been tracking all of my sales. It's only been tracking about a third of the sales, which is really annoying because then I don't know which ad sets are performing best, which ones are, you know, not profitable, which products are profitable, which ones aren't. So it's a little unfortunate, but I'm trying to figure it out with uh, my Facebook rep to see if we can clear that up because I mean the ad account spent a lot of money I should be able to get the right uh, support in order to get that fixed um, Hopefully it's not something with my pixel. So we'll figure it out later on But if you don't know already I am giving away the store at a hundred thousand dollars in revenue I'm gonna be flying someone out here to the warehouse got my car back there and uh, I'm gonna be teaching them everything that they need to know in order to maintain the store continue to get sales and um, You know, maybe I'll still be a part of the store whoever wins it they can decide on that um, but right now, payments are about to be hold on Shopify again. That's been a very big issue. Um, it's very annoying, you know, payments being on hold just based on um, how many orders I'm getting and stuff like that. You know, high risk orders, Shopify doesn't like that. Um, it's been annoying, but I'm figuring it out. I'm getting everything taken care of. It's like I submit the information they want and then I'm clear for like a week and then they put my payments on hold again. So it's annoying because of course you need the money to fulfill the orders, which I've been doing. So let's go ahead and go on my computer. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what's going on. And if you wanna be entered to win the store, you know, I haven't announced it yet. I won't until the store it's 100,000 in revenue. But I will tell you guys right now that really, I just need to see your face and your name. You know, be engaged on my videos. Like and comment on my videos. I post every single day just so I know who you are. You know, there's a handful of people that I see on every single video. They have the notifications on. I see them, I post every Every day, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I see them, they go on there, they like and comment, and you know, that just gets them a better chance of actually winning the store once it's time. But there will be a true, real giveaway once it actually happens. So let's go ahead and go on my computer and I'll show you guys some of this stuff. So today it's at $925.67, not bad, you know, it's what, 5.30 p.m. Um, yesterday, sorry if the screen guys, I didn't want to share my screen and do it because I would have to blur out so much stuff just so you guys don't see everything. Uh, yesterday was, come on, load, 1.2K. This week has been 5.5K, not as good as I want it. You know, some days is lower than others, uh, but it is what it is. And for this month, for those of you wondering, we are at $24,000 almost with 758 orders, which is not bad. You know, I would say about ten thousand dollars in ad spend which is a ton of money and uh, i wish it was higher but i just tested so many products at the beginning that there wasn't that much sales as you can see you know towards the beginning of the month a couple hundred dollars and then once i started to find the right products and make lookalikes then you know the sales actually started to spike a lot you know we had a 2k day there and since then it's just been on and off i've just really been letting the ad account optimize and i have a few products i've been finding that i'm going to be testing soon that i believe are winners i've really just not been testing a bunch of random products recently just so i can see you know which ones are doing the best and which ones that i know are almost guaranteed success um you know seven live visitors right now the conversion rate is getting better you know 1700 uh store visitors today and 29 orders and 926 dollars in sales and hopefully this day hits about one to two k and right here, 
they're about to put my payments on hold, so I have to submit this stuff, which I'm not 18, so I have to deal with with my person that helps me that's over 18. Um, you know, as far as orders go, everything's done through Oberlo. Let's actually go to Oberlo. I'll show you guys the profit and stuff. And actually, I'm gonna make a video on the apps I have on this store uh, so you guys can see sort of what I'm doing. So right here is the Oberlo tracking. This is 30 days, um, you know, 25,000 in sales, 764 orders, and $16,526.74 in profit. You know, this is not full profit. Um, this is just the profit before marketing costs, and marketing costs are one of the biggest uh, factors here. So, you know, if we had no marketing costs, then this would be amazing, you know, based on how many sales, that's a crazy, crazy profit margin right there. And all my products are down here on the left. I wish I could show you guys. You guys will see it eventually, probably. But um, yeah, guys, I gotta get my VA on these orders. They're not fulfilling as much as they should. And this is what I was talking about here with the ad account. Like, look, it spent $360 today, and it says the conversion value is only $270. So all these ads here, you know, I can't really track the metrics of which ones are doing well. You know, these are all campaigns here. Um, all these right here are turned off. That's why there's no spend. Um, but you know, if we go back to the store, you can see, you know, obviously $925 in sales today but it's only tracking about a third of it, which is very annoying. So for the future of this store, really I'm just gonna be focused on actually, you know, getting sales, scaling with products that I know are, you know, almost guaranteed to make me money instead of just testing a bunch of different random products. And I've been testing a lot of high margin products recently, which has been exciting because more profit margin equals more money for me and more money for whoever wins the store. So this was just a quick update for you guys. If you guys wanna see anything else, let me know in the comments below and I'll make it in the next video. I think the next store update, I'm going to do, um, you know, showing you guys the apps that I've been using, you know, for emails and everything like that. So before I go, guys, remember to enter, you know, just like and comment all my videos, turn the notifications on, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.